Welcome to the next SER fire alarm system test. There is some big changes to the system, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it first thing. This is the RSG RMS-1T pull station, and here we go. Voice evacuation. Attention, attention. An emergency has been reported in this building. Please cease operations and leave the building utilizing the nearest exit or fire exit stairway. The SCR now has voice evacuation. So as you can probably already tell, this is not a permanent thing. I wired in my voice evacuation fire alarm demonstration board into the main control panel that's in the garage. So essentially, I have this panel, which is a Kita FX-64, wired into this panel, which is a Firelight MS-9200 UDLS addressable fire alarm control panel. And this panel is wired into this panel, which is a Cooper Wheelock SP MNS voice evacuation amplifier panel. And they all three are right now wired into each other, which allows me to have voice evacuation in the garage. So when the pull station or another device on this system gets pulled, it activates the fire alarm control panel. And when this control panel activates, it trips its alarm relay. And wired in to the alarm relay over here is the monitor module that I have hooked up to this panel. So it then trips this panel, which then trips this panel and this panel then sends an audio message through its whole loop that goes back into this system and through the speaker circuits. Wired into the special module on the voice evacuation demonstration board is the police pull station, which does a special little thing that I'll show later in the tests. And the security system is right now unplugged and not involved in this mess of wires. The alarm on the far side of the garage is the Gentex SSPK24WLPR speaker strobe fire alarm. And right now I have it set on its one watt setting. The alarm next to the door is a system sensor SPSW. It's set on its two watt setting right now and I have to give it to system sensor this is a very easy speaker strobe to install. I really like the design of this fire alarm. Both the strobes in this test are wired into the main Kita panel, so that's why you saw them both activate a couple seconds before the speaker circuit activated. And I apologize for how messy this board looks right now. It's not the main focus in this test, but hey, you know what? While it's here, let's go ahead and activate one of the BG12 LXs. Here we go. And I don't think I mentioned this yet. This is EST voice evacuation that you're hearing. Let's go ahead and reset this RSG RMS-1T pull station, and then we'll reset all the panels and then activate the police pull station. So that's now reset. This panel is now resetting, and then we'll give a main reset on this panel. There we go. 
probably going to take a second for everything to reinitialize here and for the strobes to stop flashing. All right, this panel is reset and then the other one has reset as well. So we're going to go ahead and activate this blue pull station right here. I have this pull station right now set up to do something that's pretty cool and I'm honestly probably going to make a whole separate video on this. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go ahead and activate it and I'll at least show you what it is in this test. Here we go. Intruder in the area. Lockdown. 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 Intruder in the area. Lockdown. 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 Intruder in the area. Lockdown. 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 Pretty cool, isn't it? I think I am gonna do at least one more test with this setup while I have everything all wired up. Maybe change around the fire message. Until then, thank you all for watching. If you found any of this interesting, definitely go check out some of my other videos. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day, everyone.